resurrecting a dormant childhood dream. I spent almost nine months of this year as an over-the-road truck driver, six months in a Freightliner Cascadia pulling a refrigerated trailer, then nearly three months in a Kenworth D680 pulling a flatbed. I drove more than 90,000 miles, from New England to the Pacific Northwest, from San Diego to Central Florida. I retired this month, partly because the dream has dark sides so dark they'd shame a black hole. Last week I watched Elon Musk unveil the Tesla Semi to see how he'd address some of those unsavory elements. We don't know what the production truck will achieve when it hits the road, but the Semi has a lot going for it. Nevertheless, the Semi seems most impressive to those who don't know what it's like to be a truck driver. This first version of the Semi will not replace the dozens of thousands of trucks on huge regional or coast-to-coast -coast runs, clocking 2,000 to 5,000 miles per week. Tesla Semi Tesla Semi Interior What I need is a commanding view of my own truck, which the central seating position compromises. The central seating position hampers my commanding view when I need that view most, when I back up. For any backing maneuver, I watch both sides of the trailer in my mirrors to make sure I don't clobber anything, or I lean out of the truck to watch the trailer as I back. Most new trucks come with mirrors mounted on the front fenders that provide views of the front corners My Kenworth had 7 mirrors in total, I've seen plenty of trucks with more. Another reason to have physical mirrors, so I can turn off, or turn down, the two giant screens in the cab, screens which, by the way, hinder my view of the corners of my truck. A few more quick takes based on Musk quotes from the presentation. The trucks I drove had one necessary third-party device in the cab, a Qualcomm computer to communicate with HQ, and I put a portable GPS unit on the windshield. The truck cabin photo Musk used during the presentation had a Qualcomm type unit, plus a traditional GPS, plus an iPad with a GPS display, plus another small display I couldn't identify. I've been in plenty of truck stops and walked by a ton of trucks, and only the most frightened novice or the most chronically indecisive driver would mount that much junk. Jackknifing is impossible. This is a lie, unless the Tesla Semi and Tesla trailer can counteract physics and human error. Companies like Walmart and JB Hunt that have placed orders for Tesla Semis have the routes, terminal control, and money for terminal infrastructure to make the most of the Semi. So we'll see what the production unit looks like in 2019, hopefully, and parse the feedback after 10,000 miles of road duty.